The elimination method used to solve a system of equations relies on the addition principle where we're adding equivalent quantities from one equation to another equation. And if we add these two together, we can see that nothing in terms of the variables are going to cancel out. Combining like terms, we would have 8x, we would have 4y equal to some constant value. In this case, we need to choose one or the other variables and convert one of the equations by using multiplication property of equality such that when like terms are added together that a variable is eliminated. It doesn't matter if it's x or y, but looking at the y's in this particular system, we see that right now they're opposite in terms of one being positive, one being negative. We can manipulate the 2 to make it equivalent to a 6 by multiplying it by 3. If we multiply the second equation, each and every term, by 3, we will have a negative 6y so that when the two equations are added together, the y term will cancel out. To maintain equality, each and every term needs to be multiplied by that factor that will result in the same coefficient but opposite on, in this case, the y term. So we need a distributive property multiplying each term on the left by 3 and multiplying our 14 by 3 on the right results in an equivalent equation for equation number 2. Each of the terms has been multiplied by 3. Now we're set to add the two equations together. Combining like terms, 3 and 15x add up to be 18x. As desired, the result is no y's. They have canceled out. And negative 6 plus 42 combined to equal 36. We now have an equation with one variable that is possible for us to solve. The only thing left to undo on the variable is to divide both sides by 18, resulting in an x equal 2. This tells us these two equations, when graphed, do have a common point, and we have the x-coordinate. We're not done until we find the corresponding y-coordinate, so we can Find that by replacing x with 2 in either one of the original equations. Replacing it in the first equation, x is replaced with a 2. We'll multiply first in order to solve for y. Next, we'll subtract 6 from each side, resulting in 6y equal to negative 12. And last, undo multiplication with division resulting in a y equal negative 2. The common point that satisfies both of these equations using the elimination method thus is 2, negative 2.